Here I have two clips on my timeline and I'm going to make it a nice transition from one to the other but I'm also going to add in a sound clip. So let's go grab my sound effect, bring it onto the music track, release. Let's have a quick listen. Okay, now what I also want to do, I want to enhance the sound effect. I want the sound to come in from the left and then move out to the right. And to do that is very simple by using keyframes. Highlight your sound clip and go over here to the sound mixer tab and now you're going to get the new panel. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move my the scrubber back to the beginning of this clip like so and I'm going to use this little blue icon here and drag it all the way to my left and this already has placed the first keyframe. I'm going to play it and I'm going to stop it around about here and I'm going to drag this clip or this icon I should say all the way to the right. Now if I move this scrubber back and forth this should also move back and forth like so. We now know that the keyframe is definitely working. Let's have another quick preview. Okay, so I can clearly hear it going from the left to the right speaker. Now what I also want to do, in the middle I want to actually increase the volume. So what I can do is highlight the clip and where the yellow line is, I move my cursor ever so slightly until it turns into a pointer. Click it once, a keyframe will appear and all I have to do is click and hold and then drag it up. And I can literally move this keyframe anywhere I want. I want it about here, really emphasize the, the end, or sorry, the middle. Let's have another listen. Now, if you don't like this keyframe and you decide that no, you don't want it to remove the keyframe, click, hold, and then drag it all the way up and release, and you will then remove the keyframe. Now, I also have another option here. It's called audio ducking. In other words, if I was speaking and it had background music, I don't want the background music to cancel me out. I have a little option here called audio ducking. Now, what this will do as the music plays and then I begin to narrate, the music will come down and my voice will increase. And this is done automatically using audio ducking and I've done another video and I will leave the link in the description for that tutorial. But here you go, it's very easy. You can add as many keyframes as you wish to your project. And you can have all sorts of fun and you can even do this. Watch this. I'm gonna play the clip and then also use this everywhere. Right, I can just move it up and down, up and down, up and down, and look at all the keyframes just added in automatically. And there you go. And as always, thanks for watching.